Hi, I'm Craig Phillips. In this video, I want to show you two different adhesives that you can use for fixing skating boards and dado rails to a plastic painted wall. One is multi-use. The second is Max Bond. Now I'm going to use the Max Bond on the dado rail where I'm fitting that to the wall and there's nothing supporting it. I'm going to use the multi-use on the skating board where that sits directly onto the carpet and then bonds to the wall behind. Now both the skating board and dado rail are different materials. This is an MDF which is already primed and this was a bare wood, just a soft wood. So I've put some cloths down on here because they're freshly painted and I don't want to damage the bottom. I'm going to start by applying this up from one end doing a squiggly line all the way down. Now I'm going to do a straight line along the top of the skating board just about five millimetres down. So now I'm ready to fix this. Press it nice and firm so the adhesive grabs the wall behind. And then when you've got it fixed into place, you can take out a silicone wipe, wipe off the tops if any users out and you might also have a little hairline kind of gap at the top of there so you can take your multi-use and just fill that in use it as a filler and once this is dry then you can paint over it i wipe my finger with the silicone wipe and smooth off the surface of the adhesive once it's completely dry you can paint over it now the skating is in position, next is the dado rail. Once you've worked out the height of your dado rail, use a spirit level to do two level marks at that height. Now I'm applying two temporary nails in the wall, which will hold the weight of the dado rail and the adhesive until it's fully dried. These can then be removed and filled and they won't be seen. Now you can start to apply the max bond on the dado rail. Do a straight line all the way down the top, double back, and same again on the bottom. Now the Max Bond is applied to the back of the dado rail. I can lift this into position and just gently rest it on my temporary pins. And offer it into position and then slowly place it to the wall, pressing some weight on with your hands. Now, I've seen sometimes people just, with the nail gun, pop a little nail into this, which works okay, but then of course you've got to fill it in sand over it and then paint it as well. Now, once this is set, I can easily remove them then and then the tiniest little bit of filler just on the underside there, you can hardly see it by the eye, just fill that in and then it's easy to actually paint the wall paint on there as opposed to your trim paint on here. 